This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. There are multiple ways you can create access reports. I want to show you the two that I would call from scratch because you don't have to work very hard at designing it, but you do have to do a little bit of work. The wizard doesn't do the work for you. So let's go into our access database and we need to go to the create ribbon. And on the create ribbon, this is of course where you create everything. And we are now looking at creating reports. So if you want a blank report, just plain sheet of paper report, you would click this one. We don't want one quite that blank. We want, we want our report to be attached to something else, so we're going to go ahead and click Report Design. Now here's the difference. In Report Design, see the Design tab popped up here with the ribbon, you have this button to Add Existing Fields. So when I click on Add Existing Fields, this gives me the opportunity to show all the tables from my database. And that's how I can, can, can add controls to my report. If I went to this other option, just blank report, all I would have is a blank piece of paper, and then I would have to build everything on the blank piece of paper. So very seldom is that what you want. Most of the time, you want the report design. Well, let's go get some of our fields. All you have to do is click Show All Tables, and what you have now, there you go, is a list of every table from your Access database. And now, you just grab the fields that you need from a table and put them onto the report. Mm, let's do customers. All right, so here's the customer information. I just want to start by showing you how to add and remove. I'm not going to do anything that I really am going to keep, but to add a field, there are two ways that you can add fields. One way, double click. And when you double click a field, it automatically pops over onto the table and it just plants itself where it feels comfortable and it's usually that exact same spot. A second way to add a report, excuse me, a field to a report is to click and drag, and you can determine exactly where that goes. And you can see I'm making a mess here because I want you to, I want you to identify that you have control if you click and drag. You determine exactly where an object is sitting on the report. Or you can click, hold, shift, and click again to select multiple fields. And when you double click, whoops, excuse me, click, shift, click again, and when you drag those to the field, they drag to the proper location, and of course, I'm making a disaster happen here. Don't worry, we'll fix it. You can also, if you decide that you want to um, utilize a right click, you can add field to your view. So then you can pop up, oh, popped in right on top of the other one. No, that's not so handy, is it? All right, that's how to add. I have a disaster. I really don't want to add any of these things. So in your report, click hold in an empty space, drag, and anything that this box that you're creating touches will be selected. Just hit delete on the keyboard. See, it's very easy to remove errors. Okay, now let's do what I really wanted to do. First of all, I'm going to click and drag ID because I want ID to be indented a little bit from everything else. Whoops, I didn't quite indent it enough. Let's go over here. All right, so ID is the place where I want it. And then I want company, last name, first name. And you can see that this is a really nice feature because what it's going to do for me, it's going to line the controls up. Now, let's talk about what I just said. The control is the portion on the right, and when you rest your mouse on it, it turns to an I-beam because you actually can type in here. But truly, for what we're doing here and just making a, a pretty generic report, there's no reason for us to type in there because the control is the part that's connected back to the customer table. So this is the portion that's going to actually give us the first name of the customer from the customer table. And the left portion here is referred to as the label. The label simply tells us what we're looking at. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a moment. Let's do the um, that selection technique. And I want you to notice all I selected were the controls, four-headed arrow. And when I move the control, the label automatically moves with me. So they move together. If you just wanted to select one and not the other, because maybe your report isn't quite the angle that you wanted, you would rather have all the names across the top and the items at the bottom, then you grab these little square boxes. And when you do the little square boxes in the top left-hand corner, 
it allows you to control one little piece. Let me hit undo. I want to put that back. Also, I want to scroll down because this is a great big report. All of that white space in there is going to print. So I, oh, I don't want to do that. So let me go all the way down here, find my two-headed arrow, drag this up because I don't need all of that empty space. I would just be empty on my piece of paper, and I certainly don't want that. So I'm liking what I have there a lot better. Now, would you agree that this report needs some attention? It does. It needs some formatting and, and possibly some more fields. But the point of this lesson is to simply show you how to get your fields onto your report. And now we've done that. We've looked at those ways. The double click option, or the click and drag option, or the right clicking option. There are all three ways to, to maintain, or excuse me, not maintain, but to add to your report. Okay, let's go look at what it looks like when you go to report view. So you can see now I have, for each ID, I have the company name. Ooh, I need to resize the last name, wouldn't you agree? Things aren't fitting quite so well. So we can go back and we can make that change back up to design view. And so last name needs to be a little bit longer. Now you see how when I only had one item selected to resize, I only resized the last name? Let me hit undo on that because maybe it would be more efficient and more effective and look nicer if when I resized one, I resized them all. Potentially, I'm going to put a border around here, and then it would show when I go out here to the report. Like, see how these show? And so what I'd like for them to do is to match. Well, that's one way to identify your report information. You could say, I want to put this in a column and just have it go down the page. Or the comment that I made earlier, you could set it up so that you have your labels. Now, mine aren't going to be perfectly straight here, but I want to do this pretty quickly. You could have your labels across the top of your report. Let me just grab, move all of these over a little bit. That'll go a bit faster. Okay, so then you can put the labels up here. Oh, would you agree I need to move that over a little bit? But we're not going to worry about spacing right now. I don't want to take the time to have you watch me make perfection happen with my spacing. And then I just went to the, size of the side of the report, found the two-headed arrow, moved it over a little bit. I want to show you what I meant by this all prints. So I'm, a, I'm going to leave this just ugh, not good, but I'll show you why you want to close up the empty white space. Because you see you have all this empty white space on your report. So back over into design view, let's just close that gap. There we go. And now you have a different look for your report. So it determines how your data looks, whether you have the label and then the control top to bottom, or you have the label on the left and the control on the right. And would you agree I need to go in here and do some adjusting because my lines aren't perfect? I don't have these all straightened up. It's really easy to fix that. So let me show you how to fix that real fast. Just grab those top items, go to arrange, align, top, and then we'll grab the, whoops, the bottom ones here. Oh, I'm going to get company. Sorry, let's go out here to the right. And then align top. And now they're all lined up. So as you can see, you have choices when you're out there designing your reports. And you can decide how you want the data to look on your piece of paper. You can also decide how much space you want between your objects. Let's look at one last item. I'm going to go ahead and move this over, go up to my tables and select customers. Now this one's going to be a, a bit extreme because it's going to have all the data on it. But remember I told you I was going to show you how to create from scratch. Some people don't agree that this is from scratch, but it's really awesome the way it works. So when you choose a table or a query, this works on queries also, if you choose a table or a query, go up to your create ribbon and you choose the option that simply says report. It creates the basic report based on the table that, or query that you have selected. So look what happens here. This is really awesome. Now the field list is still there. I'll click the field list. list. I don't need that right now. But look what I just built. I just built with a quick, really quick little click of the button, a report that has all of the fields from the customer's table. So your choice. You can either individually drag or add fields to the report, or you can use this nice create feature and say, hey, just go make me a report. Remember, for this one, you have to select a table or a query. And then don't forget, you want to save things before you head out. And so you can click on the tab and either right click and say save, or you can click the save button on the quick access toolbar. And you can give your reports and names, customers from class 
example. I'll say OK for that. It's down here in my reports. There it is right there, customers from class example. And then I will do the same thing for report one. I'll give it a name, and then I'll close out of both of these reports. And now I have quickly and easily made two brand new reports based on data from my Access database. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.